it's fantastic. Who gave you permission to be this smart? <laughs> Mommy is super proud of you, but I'm sure she's already told you that herself. Our next game is Wacko Wuggy. Head downstairs and have fun. Welcome to Wacko Wuggy. This advanced test is designed to assess the extent of your reactionary abilities. A dual palm grab pack will be provided to you for this test. Around you are 18 sizable holes. An adorable Huggy Wuggy toy could appear out of any one of these holes. If one comes out, hit it with your grab pack. That's all. Good luck. The toys in this game used to have strings attached to them, so they could be pulled back when they got too close to the children. Hmm. Have fun. The toys in this game used to have strings attached to them, so they could be pulled back when they got too close to the children. Hmm. Have fun.
toys in this game used to have strings attached to them, so they could be pulled back when they got too close to the children. Hmm. Have fun.
film this? Oh, not at all, sir. That's what I like to hear. So, Marcus, what happened? You see, I was heading home for the day when my apars realized that I left me bloody wallet in the cafeteria. So I'm running through the lobby, and that's when I see it. A mob handle lodged under the innovation wing gate. So what'd you do, Marcus? Well, I just thought I'd nab the bloody yoke and be on me merry way. And? Well, I'm reaching for the thing, and the mob handle jolts on its own. Had me scared stiff. I, I thought I was the only one there. So I, I took a peek beneath the gate, and some massive bloody thing was dothering about the bloody hallway. Thing? You're sure it wasn't a person? Ain't no person that's 50 feet long with a thousand legs. Marcus, you're losing me. Maybe you just saw a bunch of people walking by. Look, it wasn't people, all right? I haven't a bloody notion what it was, but it wasn't human. Hmm. Who have you told about this? Besides me, obviously. Just you, sir. Obviously. Okay. I'll have security skim the cameras and take a look. What? There's a massive bloody... Monster! Skimming ain't gonna get rid of it! You're out of line, Marcus. We make toys, not monsters. Now come on, get out of my sight. Actually, uh, grab me a coffee, will ya? Actually, never mind, get out of my sight. You're ready for the final game, Statues! Follow Mommy down the stairs one last time. I hope you had a fun day at the game station. See you next time! Welcome to Statues. 
This advanced obstacle course is designed to test your physical endurance and strength. The rules are simple. The lights will turn off. You can move through the obstacle course at this time. However, when the lights turn on, you can look around but cannot move. You may move again once the lights turn back off. The lovable PJ Pugapillar will follow you. If PJ reaches you, your test is over. That's all. Good luck. It was always so sad to see the kids go. They called me mommy because I was the closest thing they ever had to one. But they come to games and never come back. They left mommy to die alone. Mommy didn't deserve that. But you, you worked here. So if anyone deserves to die alone, it's you. Bye. <laughs> 
Jimmy, your work as Playtime Co.'s chief marketing officer has skyrocketed the company's profits. How do you do it? You know, it's not what you'd expect. It's the little things most people don't even think about. Like, take names, for example. I'm surprised people haven't realized this. You take the E sound, slap it on the end of a name, boom, you're making bank. Huggy, Mommy. Even Elliot knew this way back with Poppy. I guess I kind oh, blue. of... Blue is huge. I'm telling you. What's your favorite color? Blue? I bet it's blue, right? It's blue? It's green. Okay, well, you're a special case. Most people would say blue. But seriously, marketing is not as easy as you think. I make it look easy. If there's anything Playtime Co. should be known for, it's not toys. It's marketing.
Log code 08502. In relation, experiment 1006, the prototype. A close call occurred this week in which he nearly breached containment. The prototype seemingly disassembled the digital alarm clock within his room and utilized the battery, along with several other components, to create a laser pointer, which he then fired into the security camera, disabling it. These actions allowed him 28.3 seconds completely unmonitored. Once function returned to the camera, the room appeared to be empty. One surveillance specialist went in to confirm his absence. However, upon opening the door, she realized that the prototype had hidden in one of the camera's blind spots. The prototype attempted to escape through the open door. However, another surveillance specialist was able to remotely relock the door, despite the other specialists still being inside. One casualty occurred. The prototype seems to possess an unprecedented level of intelligence beyond that of all other test subjects, as well as an alarming willingness to commit violence. Further suppression treatments will need to be enacted to ensure that no other experiments develop these qualities. Experiment 1170, Huggy Wuggy, remains the optimal outcome due to his sufficient intelligence paired with maximum obedience. End of log.
I've never met anyone like you. <laughs> Do you know how long I've been stuck in that case? Well, too long. I had so much time to think and reflect. Time to figure out exactly what I would do when free. We'll set things right. Terrible things have happened. But I know that whatever I need you to do, you are capable. We will. What is...